wanted to talk about what it takes to um, iterate through JSON. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll have some kind of variable with a JSON payload. Um, let's say first, first, and we'll, we'll put the string in a variable, and then we will um, do a uh, data operations parse action um, and we'll actually we will auto generate the, the schema and then we can actually iterate through through our data so what I forgot is a an array node. So let's say um, we've got an array of addresses. We want to iterate through this array. And we'll do this in a for each. So First thing we'll do is we'll just add some uh, um, JSON payload. This will be some string, and we'll just add and add this here. And this is our JSON payload. We'll say uh, initialize JSON payload. Now, what we can do is iterate through that array, through this array. And the way we can do that is first we're going to parse. We're going to do a parse, parse JSON, and let's, let's generate a schema here, use sample payload, uh, something's wrong, okay. okay, and then our content is just going to be the same thing, um, well, this this is going to be our variable uh, JSON payload. We'll say save, and, and now that we have parsed our JSON, we can now um, grab individual nodes declaratively. Um, let's create, let's reuse one of these variables to say primary, primary insurance code. So we're going to say set variable, variables, set variable, we're going to say primary insurance code, and the value is going to be the result, we're going to take the result of this parsed JSON, we're going to be able to actually grab either one of the root nodes, the first name or the last name, or if we select this item here, this will automatically create a for each action iteration and we'll put the logic inside of it. So as you can see, it just created for each action and it's iterating on this node, on the addresses um, array. 
So that is how we can iterate through JSON is we create, we have to create the schema and then we have to parse, parse that data. And once we've parsed that data with this, um, with this data action, we now have the ability to uh, declaratively iterate through specific nodes.